So we're gonna take a look at this Time USB 12 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This thing is a beast. I've had it for a while, I've done some testing on it. There are some things to be aware of it. As far as quality goes, it's a very high quality battery. And I wanted to show you how you can use this to set up your own DIY solar generator system. I think everybody needs to have backup solar right now uh, with the rolling blackouts and population increasing and grid power decreasing. It's just a good idea to have your own power. So whether you want to build your own system, with a battery system like this and a charge controller and an inverter and everything like that, or you want to get a pre-made system like a solar generator here or here or there or there or there. Solar generators uh, are definitely a really good option right now. And you can find all of this info at poweredportablesolar.com. I want to give a special thank you to all my Patreon members. I'll have special content coming out for just Patreon. And so if that interests you, you can go to patreon.com slash Minuteman Prep. I'm working on that content right now. But this battery is already proven to be really good. And there are other channels that do teardowns and stuff like that of the internals. I'm not going to be doing that. But I want to show you how well it works and using it in a real life situation with a solar panel, with an inverter, using it to run like an air conditioner and heavy loads like that. Even things like fridge, freezer, stuff like that. So stick around for this video of a review of the Time USB battery. I think this is one that you'll really like. Now, first things first, Time USB did send this battery out to me and I'm doing this for you guys, okay? I don't really have a purpose for this battery. I don't really have a way to use it. But I had a few people asking me on the channel to review batteries and so I've got a few batteries here that I'm doing reviews on and this is a very good quality battery. It's at a very fair price and I'll have links down below for all of that as well as any available coupons and such. But I've got the Time USB, I've got the Power Queen, I've got an Amper Time, and I'm hoping to review even more batteries on here for you guys. So just so that you're aware, they did send me this, but it will in no way affect my review and my end result. I'm telling you guys up front, I do like this battery, but there's a couple things you wanna know about it and it may or may not be the best option for you. So first things first, checking out the manual here. Uh, it is pretty clear. Uh, I think that the Power Queen user manual is a little bit more clear, uh, not to compare the two together, but uh, basically this is a 12.8 volt battery and its charge voltage is up to 14.4 volts and it can go plus or minus that 0.2 volts. So that makes it usable with the Titan solar generator because I know I can get this up to 14.5 volts and I could put two of them together so that way I could make a 24 volt battery and actually charge it up to 29 volts and use it with the Titan because the Titan top charge voltage is 29 volts. Now in reality, if you're gonna use this with a Titan solar generator, it really would be best to just get the 24 volt version in my opinion, but with the 12 volt edition, you can get two of these batteries, link them together in series, which is just positive to negative, positive to negative, and you increase your voltage and you're good to go. But if you're making your own system, you also wanna know that because the uh, information in here will tell you exactly the charge parameters you need to set in your charge controller. Now this user manual is very similar to the Power Queen user manual and the Power Queen one is probably the clearest one that I've followed so far. But overall it's good and it has good information on like how the charge works and uh, the parameters of charging, discharging, all the safety features, how to charge it up, connect things in series and parallel. All of that is in here with the easy to follow guide. So very good user manual and I have found that their customer service is pretty good as well. Now, anytime you're working on batteries, you ideally want to have some eye protection. So this is the eye protection I'm going to be using today. Uh, but 12 volt batteries are really not that dangerous to work with, especially we're not going to be doing any work on this while there's a load. When I say the word load, it also mean current uh, and current basically just means amps. We're not going to be moving any amps through this system while working on it. Everything's going to be shut off and safe while we're doing that. But just so that you guys know, you may get a little spark here or there, but it's not enough voltage to really hurt you at all. That's one of the nice things of working with 12 volt is it's very beginner friendly. Now to get this system up and running, uh, basically to make an entire solar generator, there's a few parts that we need. First, the battery. Well, we've got that. Second, we need a charge controller, which is what I've got hanging up over here. And then third is an inverter. And I've got this really high powered 12 volt, 3000 watt uh, inverter from Renogy. I paid for this one. I did not get this for free or anything like that. Let's go ahead and get this connected. We're actually going to start charging with the solar panel. So we have a complete system. So you know from beginning to end how this works. Now, one of the interesting things that I wanted to point out uh, that is a comparison between the Time USB and the Power Queen is the Time USB 
the charge, the max charge and discharge rate is up to 100 amps. And so to convert that to watts, which is much easier for most people to understand, you just take the voltage multiplied by the amperage to get your watts. So let's say we're doing 12 volts at 100 amps, that's going to be 1200 watts of either charging or discharging. So it would not be a good idea to charge this battery with more than 1200 watts of solar because that's going to exceed its rated charge rate. And same thing, I'm not going to be able to discharge this at about more than 1200 watts without potentially damaging this, according to the user manual. Whereas the Power Queen here, it's I, I really think these are probably identical batteries. I mean, the way that they're made is very similar. However, the Power Queen is much lighter. This was really heavy. This is just pretty heavy. I don't remember the weights off the top of my head, uh, but they're I think they're made in the same factory, honestly, because almost everything about them is identical except the weight. So there's something internal that's different. But the Power Queen Plus versus the Time USB Pro, the Power Queen Plus has a charge and discharge rate of up to 200 amps, and it has a five-year warranty. So anyway, I'll have a video on that as well that you can go check out. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my MPPT charge controller. This is from HiSolus. This is a 60 amp charge controller, very high quality. I'm going to go ahead and take the battery cables here and just connect red to red, black to black, and uh, get this turned on. Oh, I'm going to connect up the inverter so that way we have a complete system. Okay, so to get this all done from beginning to end, first thing I want to do is get the inverter and charge controller connected up to the battery. Okay, finally, just like that, I'm gonna put my caps on, got my reds to my reds, my blacks to my blacks, charge controller is on, inverter is on, ready to go. So effectively, by having one, the battery, two, the inverter, and three, the charge controller, I've now made a solar generator, a power station, whatever you wanna call it, and it's really, really that simple. So I've got a single 200 watt solar panel connected to this cable right here, and on the screen here, I can see that the battery's at 13.2 volts and that we have no charge coming in from the panels. Connect that. Immediately, I'm getting 19.2 volts. Hear the click. And so now this is gonna start operating by bringing in the amperage. I'm gonna get volts times amps equals watts. So I'm getting 17 and a half volts at 6.8 amps for, well, it's going up. Now it's 120 watts, nine amps. So I've completely made an entire self-working system here, and I can now use this to run equipment off of this and then this will recharge from this in the solar panels and in order to show you how easy this is i'm going to go ahead and run a heavy load with my air conditioner which i've got right here there's a 5000 btu air conditioner high cool super cool yep it is working all perfectly fine right here this inverter is for 12 volt batteries only you have to match all of the equipment appropriately and we can help you do that at poweredportablesolar.com where we mostly focus on complete solar generators because it's all pre-programmed and done for you very simple to do and so i have complete kits on the systems that i recommend because not all systems are very good and that way you know exactly what's going to work best for you for your situation whether it's home off-grid cabin rv van life portable solar whatever it is that you need so for this to run one amp, which would be 120 watts, this has to run 10 amps. So in order for this to be running 10 amps, this has to be outputting 100 amps, which is the max output of this. So this 3000 watt inverter, we're never gonna get close to using the full 3000 watts because the limit of the battery, the limit of the fuel source is about 1200 watts of output. And that's the biggest drawback of this time USB. It doesn't matter that it's super high quality. Uh, the weight is kind of, you know, neither here or there because you're gonna either put it in an RV to swap your onboard batteries, or it's gonna be sitting, you know, pretty set in your house or whatever, your cabin, whatever it is. And so the weight only matters the first time you set it up. But the fact that you can't drain more off of it, like the Power Queen, where you can do 200 amps at 12.8 volts, uh, that's kind of the bigger limitation of this system here. I also think that's kind of a big letdown that they have these uh, really short posts because realistically, to make this system work where I can recharge it and use it, I'm gonna have to have an inverter and a charge controller. So I'm gonna for sure have two cables going on to here. 
And so I'm really surprised that they didn't provide longer bolts for the posts because that would make life a lot easier getting this whole thing set up. So take that with a grain of salt as well. Uh, I do wish the posts were longer. So all in all, that's pretty much it guys. This is a very good battery, but there may be some other options out there that'll work better for you. It just depends. If you're never really gonna use more than 1200 watts, well, then this system should work fine for you. If you need to be able to draw more than that, then you may wanna look at the Power Queen or the Amper Time or some other option. I'll have those links down below as well. Or the other option is you can get, for example, four of these, connect them all in parallel to stay in a 12 volt configuration. And then you can be drawing 4,800 watts off of it because you're gonna split the load between all of them. So that's another option as well. But either way, like I said at the beginning, now is the time to be getting prepared with emergency backup. There's lots of rolling blackouts, population's only increasing, and grid power is only decreasing. So it's pretty much going to be an issue that everyone will face in the near future, which is why I recommend having a battery system like this or even better, like a solar generator where it's completely done for you. You don't have to do any programming or know anything about all of this stuff and it's just done for you. You turn it on, plug stuff in, and you're good to go. So if you want more information about that, go to poweredportablesolar.com. Email me at info at poweredportablesolar.com. If you wanna communicate with me directly and get access to special content that I'm making for just Patreon members, then go to patreon.com slash minuteman prep and you can be a contributor there and get access to that as well as direct access to me so thank you so much for being here be prepared one of the best ways to be prepared is have backup power uh, i also have gas and propane as a backup to my solar because this is such capable equipment i really truly can run my entire house pretty much non-stop unless there's a long multiple days period of no good sun in which case i can recharge my system just using uh, some gas or propane generators. On that note, with this battery, you can also get just another wall charger to charge this battery up. You don't have to get a charge controller for solar panels. Um, you just have to make sure it's rated for lithium ion batteries. So if you have that and you're good to go, you can charge this off the wall and be good to go. So thank you so much for being here. Be prepared. I will see you guys in the next video.